Hey guys, we're Nate V29 here with another Rubik's Cube video. This will be the final video in my um, beginner's method tutorial series, I guess. Basically, at the end of this video, after, and after some practice, you should finally be able to do the final layer of your Rubik's Cube and have a completed cube. So, if you give me a minute to, to set it up, I will show you the steps. Okay. So once you have completed your first two layers, as shown here, you will have one of three cases on the top. You will either have an L, which is like this, with two adjacent edges oriented, or two edges next to each other. You will have a line, which will be two opposite edges oriented, which means yellow up. Or you will have either one or none oriented. Okay, and the, uh, so, and there are three separate algorithms for each, or two really. And you will be learning the algorithm for an L orientation and a line orientation. If you have a dot, you can use either the line first or the L first, and that will, and then after that, you will, depending which one you use, you will have the second case. So if you use, if you have a dot and you use the L algorithm, you will have a line. If you have a dot and use the line algorithm, you'll have an L. And then after that, you solve it as you would per normal. So, first, as you can see here, I have an L orientation. So, how you would, how you would go about solving this would be as follows. You want to have the L as shown here. Like with your edges here, your empty space here. Sometimes the space will be filled. Don't worry about where your corners are, whether or not they're oriented. Right now, you just want to worry about your edges. So, you want to have your adjacent edges in the, your top and your left. Which one do you here? Hold the cube as shown. And you do F, U, R, then U prime, R prime, F prime to get you cross. Now, if you give me a minute. If you have a line, like shown, you want to hold it, hold it horizontally, which basically means sideways, orient your cube. Then you want to do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, as shown. So if you give me a minute, here is line again, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime to give you your cross, and then if you give me another minute, L again, F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime to give you your cross. Once again, your corners are not of the worry at the moment. Now, if you give me a minute to set up the dot formation. Okay, so once again, if you have a dot, which basically means just not a line or an L, what you do is, you can do either algorithm first. So you can either do the F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime first, and that will give you an L. Or, you can do, if I reset it. Or you can do F U R U prime R prime F prime and you get the line. And then after that of course you just solve it as per usual. And you will have your cross. Once again, corners are not of the matter, and if you have the dot, you can hold it either way, it doesn't matter. So now that you have completed that step, you will now your next step in this last layer is to solve your edges. How you would do this is first you want to make a line your top layer so that two of your edges are correct like sh like so. Now there are two cases but only one algorithm. So the algorithm is if I remember correctly it's R U R prime U R U two R prime. 
Yes. That's the algorithm. So there are two cases. You will either have your correct e edges opposite, like so, blue, green, or adjacent. So if I had blue, orange, blue, red, so they're next to each other. Now if you have them opposite, like I do, you want to hold a correct one in front of you and on each side an incorrect one. You want to do the algorithm? Are you R prime U prime? Are you two R prime? And now you should have two adjacent. When you have two adjacent, you want to hold incorrect in front, correct on your right, incorrect on your left, and do the algorithm again. So R U R prime U prime R U two R prime. Then a U turn and it should orient all of your edges correctly. So once you've done that, you have your edges. So if you give me a minute, here I'll show it again from the green side, just for a different angle. So once again, I have my opposite edges. R U R prime U prime or no R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now I have my two adjacent, so I hold the incorrect R U R prime U R U two R prime U, and I have my edges. So the next step is your corners. So your first step in in your corners is to get them in the correct position, not necessarily the correct orientation. So you want to look for one, and I have none, that are in the correct position. So for example, green, red, yellow, but it does not necessarily have to have yellow on top. It just has to have the green, red, yellow in this area, because this is where it belongs. Now, there's only one algorithm for this again. If you have none, it doesn't matter how you hold your cube, so I'll show you that first, considering I have none. The algorithm is U, R, U prime, L prime, then U, R prime, U prime, L. So, I will show you that again. So, once again, it's, once again, it's U, Oh, it's R U I um. Hold on, it's U R U prime L prime. Then U R prime U prime L. Once you've done that, you should have one of your edges correct. So, um, here I have my in between blue and white, I have my blue, red, yellow. Even though yellow is not facing up, it's still correct. So what you want to do now is hold it in your top right corner and then repeat that algorithm. U, R, U, prime, L, prime. U, R, prime, U, prime, L. So now you, you must now check if you have, if both of these corners are correct. So here, blue, orange, yellow. This one's correct. This one stays correct. If they aren't, do it again, and that should get all of your corners correct. So if two are correct, the rest should be. So your final step is to orient your last layer. So that all of the L's are facing up. Here, I have a lucky solve, so two of mine are already up. I just need to get these two. The algorithm for this is the same, but you have to do this algorithm either twice or four times in order to get it correct. And this is the step where most people end up messing up. So... What you want to do is choose an incorrect corner, so one of these two. I'll choose this one and put it in your top right position. So here. What you want to do is R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, until it goes until it's facing up. You will either need to do that twice, like I just did, or four times. So if it wasn't facing up, I need to do it two more times. This is where most people mess up. You want to get your next corner in your top right, but you do not want to turn the whole cube. You just want to do a simple U turn until it's in the top, then R D R prime or no R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D. As you can see, I did it twice and it's still not correct, so I do it two more times. R prime D prime R D, then R prime D prime R D. And your final step is just to or is to t move the top layer until it's correct, and you've completed your cube. So, if you give me a minute, 
So I will once again show you that I'll, I'll once again show you that I'll go with, with my with my final corner. R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D. You turn to fix everything. Um, the one main thing you have to remember is once you fix a corner. To get to the next one, never turn the whole cube, because you mess everything up, you just turn the top layer. And also, it'll look, when you're doing it, it'll look like your cube's getting completely messed up, but in the end, it'll fix itself. That's how the algorithm is set up. So, just keep practicing that, I will, once I get my computer working a little bit, which will probably be by tomorrow, so the day after this video is posted, I will have the algorithms most likely in the description below. Um, I will link to some sites that can show you how to do this a little bit. So like text, like a PDF or something. And that's your beginner's method. Keep practicing that to get your time up. And I recommend once you get your time probably below 3 minutes. Maybe to like 2.30. You go on to learn the 2-look, OLL and PLL. Which is the first step to learning your um, CFOP advanced method. If you would like to learn other advanced methods, I will be teaching those as well. But the first one I will teach will be Friedrich or CFOP. For more videos on Rubik's Cube, subscribe if you want. If you don't, you can just come back and check. I'll probably be uploading these probably about once a week. Um, so, I'm going to leave it to you tonight. And I'm out.